Hey, hey, what's up, guys? So I uh, just want to show you a quick vid uh, about some smoking that I did. I think if you're on the carnivore diet, which I think everyone should try, you know, we have certain reasons you want to do it. I get it. But um, it makes life pretty simple. And if you do do it, then as a man, you got to learn how to mess to your barbecue and your smoker. Smoking is so easy. It's just all about the marinade. You let the smoke and the meat take care of itself so i'm going to show you a few things i do that i like to do and um it's inexpensive this carnivore diet is a lot cheaper than people think okay welcome everybody i want to show you a little bit about uh some of the marinade i use here for some other little beef i'm going to put on the barbecue so uh now you can tell it's got a nice little orange color to it i use a whole gang of turmeric Sometimes I'll just use mustard, but to have one of the turmeric, spice it up with some sriracha, um, and even put some cinnamon in on there to kind of like give it more of a curry flavor. And in one of them, I did like a chili powder. I used some apple cider vinegar and a whole bunch of limes, probably like two, three limes, something like that. Uh, and, one, and I did some apple cider vinegar and that'll help like tenderize the meat, get it all ready. So, um, been marinating about four hours or so, maybe a little bit longer, something like that. Just kind of like flip them and, um, yeah, I'll get the bottom one up in the new mix. So getting ready to put this on the smoker. Just want to show you guys what I'm doing here. I put some red pepper flakes on there too. Actually, this is just like a subset. I put some garlic on there, uh, apple cider vinegar. Um, what else do we get in there? That's about it. So I think there's maybe a little salt, some Celtic salt. So, all right, you guys, I'm gonna get this in the Barbie and see what it looks like. Actually, the smoker. I'm here, we got the meat ready. It's been marinating for a while. Buddha said it's okay. We're gonna get the cold plunge going, but she's cleaning over there. So in the meantime, we'll get the smoker going. I showed you guys the prep, what I like to do, get this thing ready. You can't just fill it all up with charcoal. It's gonna get way too hot, so kind of like slowly add in charcoal. I get the uh, pine needles in the bottom to make sure it gets started. And then some of the wood in there to make sure it gets smoky flavor. So I'm gonna get this going. I'm gonna get in inside and see how it's looking. I don't know if you guys knew this, but the best fire starter are pine needles. So I'm over here checking out the yard. I'm like, we got some giant evergreens cruising this way. And uh, it's been raining a little bit, so it's kind of difficult to find some dry ones. But over here, close to the tree, definitely some pine needles. And I just want to get a nice bed. Some of these little dry guys up in there. And uh, every once in a while, there's like a nice group of them all together. You can almost have like a, it looks like a broomstick kind of thing. And just carry around to different parts of the fire if you need. Anyway beautiful day the sun's finally coming out and i've been marinating a couple pieces of meat so i'm gonna get this thing started uh just to get the smoky flavor you get more wood so a couple pieces on the top there got some charcoal that should be a nice start we'll get this thing uh prepped ready to go but yeah all right so since it's looking good moving for a while let's get it going Okay, so I took the leftover marinade I had, and then I put some organic coffee grinds on here. So this is like straight Kona coffee. Here the acidity is gonna be good. I'm gonna let this marinate for a bit. So we're gonna have to delay the light for a minute. So look at that crust. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so we had a nice little marinade time. Put a little honey on there too, sweet it up. To get the honey with the coffee, and uh, I'm just gonna put these that side up. Wow, makes so good. Yes. 
it's a marinade coffee. Here we go. Okay, and lastly, put up giant Alaskan Stockholm salmon. Just gonna put that on there frozen and uh, I'm gonna add things to it later on. So that's it. That's the rack. I got some frozen chicken, but that's not gonna work. All right, you guys, gonna light it up, see how we go. Soldier. Let that get hot. Let the flame start. Let those charcoals get lit. And then let the meat do what it gotta do. There we go. Just let it go. Just let it go. The airflow is gonna be good. Gets it going. Alright. There we go. Still going. Nice little flame. Those everything's gonna let get lit up real nice. No lighter fluid. Nothing, just some pine needles, a couple sticks, some slow burn charcoal. All right, boys and girls, we're in the smoke zone. I'm gonna add a little more wood. All right, we've got a couple pieces of timber here. Salmon is definitely done. Take it off. Alright, so we're a little bit above the smoke zone. I got some of the marinade, some of the coffee here. So we do it. Let's see how this is here. Stick. This is gonna last here. I'm gonna 
switch up those levels. It's all good though. y'all so i'm gonna show you we got the smoked salmon with some lime uh it turned out perfect i'm gonna put this in the fridge i'm gonna seal it up and put some olive oil in there kind of let it simmer um but yeah we got a great smoked salmon um i like it cold so we're gonna have this for a little whenever i'm hungry just kind of slice it up Maybe we'll... all right it's gonna start getting crazy in there what you want to do okay, I don't know I thought I might just switch it good I was gonna flip it but it's not worth it 